Ooh, that's bright. Hello, my name is Rob. Welcome to the Daily Crawl here, guys. Uh, today's video is about these uh, boom racing tires here. These are the Hustlers 60 millimeter black compound, and they are ultra soft. They are by far, hands down, the absolute softest tires on the market, period, dot. Um, wanted to make this video just to uh, maybe help people choose or decide between the black compound and the red compound. Now, I have um, the black compound. I bought the 60 millimeter Hustlers, and then also I bought these, um, the other one, those aggressors right there and they look pretty rad these aggressors the tread pattern uh, reminds me of um, kind of a hybrid tire between a uh, trail warrior and a mud slinger let's see I mean, if you kind of look at these these little fingers that pop out here, these little lugs, it's definitely got the lug right there. And then these triangle pattern, you know, reminds me of the Trail Warrior there. But if I had to uh, choose here, I'd say that that is pretty well uh, a hybrid between those two tires. Now. My advice to anybody that is uh, looking to purchase these boom racing tires, um, if you have a heavy build, go with the red compound. This super soft black compound is, in my opinion, too soft for a heavy build because they are super squishy. If you have a lightweight build, the black compound is for you. That seems like it would work best on a lightweight rig, so your tire still gets a little squish on your ultralight build, and that tread can hook up. Now, I do not own the red compound, so I can't speak to how the difference is between the red and the black, but they say the red is a uh, stiffer compound. That, to me, would work best on a heavier build because your heavier build is already going to squish the tires. I feel like there's almost too much squish on my heavy build with the black compound. I went out and ran this um, a couple laps around my tree, and holy cow, is it just... I mean, the tire just was folding over squishing all over the place with the black compound which got me thinking that i i really like my new wheel setup on the micro shark i think it looks pretty darn rad these are the hard park wheels i uh, went with the double face with the uh carbon fiber ring on the outside and then uh, the y spoke um, metal ring on the inside with the standard zero millimeter hub and um i was able to seat these boom racing it was very difficult with a ring to get the boom racings to seat um this is a mofo uh super deep dish premium wheel and it does not have that beadlock ring and that seated pretty well but going back to why i got the hard park wheels was the wheel's ability to uh, tuck a portal. So you can see I have the uh, MoFo portals on here and it tucks that portal pretty good. You can see that tire squish. These are not vented tires at all. So there is a bit of air in there and they still squish. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably go with those tire inserts, those uh, Flubber Stuffer Slime Ball deals. I think uh, that might help my sidewall when it comes to these guys. Because I really like the wheels. And that's what I want to go with. 
Um, I've got a bunch of uh, wheels I've just been building, kind of see which I like best. This is a uh, three millimeter inner hub there on a flipped super deep dish. And that looks flipping awesome. Man, that looks awesome. I might uh, paint it like I did here on these deep, deep dish mofo wheels where I painted the brass and the aluminum. And I really like just the dark. I think that looks pretty rad. But uh, um, they're good tires. They gripped really well. They were just, oh man, they were just super soft. Super duper soft. But uh, they're really good tires. They're definitely worth uh, worth the money. And you will be blown away how soft they are by far. I mean, this is a, uh, you know, a mudslinger which is, in my opinion, designed for uh, a super heavy build because they are super stiff lugs. And um, the mudslinger on my heavy micro shark worked out really well just recently. And uh, these do too, but I think they need a different insert. But uh, that was it. That was basically my video. Been changing these wheels around. Give you a good look at my uh, hard park wheels on the boom racing tires. Looks pretty good. I've also got um, new axles in the works, perhaps. I see uh, um, CCXRC does a brass axle with no coating. And that is what I have originally wanted on the Micro Shark was just a brass no coating and now that's available so um we'll see and then i might change uh, my steering linkage to an rc addiction steering linkage similar to what you see right there but brass that way it's just boom and then i'm gonna try and figure out a way that i can maybe remount my servo so the grill will go down further as you can see i do own the uh, best servo mount ever made by mofo and maybe i can put the servo on the other side of the mounting posts and move it around to get it to uh tuck underneath the grill i've just always lived with the fact that it doesn't tuck under the grill but uh Maybe now I can uh, figure something out. So you can see that tire squish. I mean, that's just, and that is not vented and it squishes that, that well. That's what I'm saying. The black compound, ultra light builds, get the red compound for a heavier build, in my opinion. So <coughs> anyways, Hopefully that uh, helps anybody trying to decide. Like I said, I don't own the red compound, but um, I would have to say that that's probably what the two compounds are for. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.